Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the magical adventures of Jason McFurryface in the land of Ellswear. Alright, so apologies, it's been about a week since the previous episode, though it's not that bad, but uh, yeah, I did do a community post on YouTube. If you didn't see it, you probably don't have notifications turned on. Click the little bell underneath the video and then you'll have notifications turned on, at least I think that's the way it works. Alright, so anyway, the short version is a bunch of back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, head, shoulders, knees and toes, you know, you, Take your pick. Uh, a lot of pain. Uh, so much so I had to actually go to A&E because they wanted to make sure I wasn't dying of a bloody heart attack. So they don't think I am. Uh, but I seem to have some kind of gastrointestinal issue as well as possibly a herniated disc in my shoulder. So I read a lot of discomfort, shall we say, right now. All right, so anyway, we're going to continue the main quest today. After successfully defending Riverhold from Euraxis forces, Abnathan and the War Council will think the time has come for a voice crack and to assault Rimmon and remove the usurp queen from the throne. The old Castellian Anishi cares for a shrine to... Kunzari, located southeast of Riverhold, I should go to the shrine and try to find him. I want to point out as well, I just had some Doritos, uh, you know, to uh, go with the whole stereotypical gamer thing. Uh, though in my defense, I've been nursing the same bag of Doritos for like four days, and there's actually still some left. Because you know when you get like the last few Doritos that have sort of curled around on themselves, and they're, they're weird shapes and shit, and they're not just, you know, like a delicious triangular slice of uh, salt? Yeah. It's those ones that nobody wants. Maybe starving children in Africa, but no, no one else who isn't starving would dare eat a Dorito that is folded on itself. All right, anyway, I'm going to cut out the trip. I'll see you there. There's a really long way down. Oh, oh no! Look, you're not going to believe me. You're not going to believe me. I genuinely... I know this looks like a setup. I genuinely tried to turn my horse around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he kind of edged forward just the tiniest little bit. Look, at least we had a soul gem. You know, it saved me some time traversing. I guess it wasn't all bad. Hey, we found a quest as well. All's well that well, ends well. Aren't Hello. You off in a hurry? I mean, not really. I'm walking quite slow. Nice donkey. Can I have it? Heading to Surindar's cradle? I hope you brought your own water skin. The hell is that? Or you could buy one off me. My rates are reasonable, given the drought. I think you're just trying to flog your water, aren't you? What's wrong with the Emdeptorium? Water. Which is one of my favorite the words. Of it. Something stopped the flow from the aqueduct to Surendar's cradle. I've been hauling water for them in the meantime, but they can't keep this up forever. What's the problem with the aqueduct? Don't know. Old stones, old gates and levers. Who can say for sure? I like your voice. I overheard the adepts discussing the trouble. A young one, Vosby, seems keen to solve the issue. If you want to know more... She's the person to ask. Okay, but for now we're doing the main quest, so piss off. Alright, we picked up way too many side quests now. We need to we need to ease up on that. We're like way off of my limit of two. Now it's just gonna get confusing when we do them. We're gonna be like, who are you? What did you want from me? What's this about? An aqueduct? So Yeah. But uh, whatever. Either way, the point is we've arrived at whatever Fight the hell this is. I decided to join you. Aneshi deserves to hear that I still live in my own words. Cool. I was like, who is this NPC? It's a player. Welcome to humble shrine, Kunzari. Here, we remember the tales of the hero of ancient elsewhere. Yeah, your pet, huh? Interesting. Old Aneshi doesn't get many visitors, friend. Few find much comfort in the ancient tales of Kunzari during these trying times. Wait, Aneshi recognizes your friend. She is grown now, more serious, but this one knows Princess Kamira by Jold. Where are his eyes looking? Like, he's staring directly at where my crotch would be were we not just a floating camera, like... I'm not saying he's looking at my dick, I don't believe he is, but... It's like one of those things, you know when you like, you drift off and you just sort of, you zone out and then you realize you're staring directly at someone's tits and you're like... Yo... I'm so, and you know, they make eye contact with you to acknowledge the fact that they've seen you staring at their tits. And you're like, no, I swear I wasn't. I was just zoned out. I think he's doing that. She's Queen Chimera now, and she remembers you too. We need your help. Yeah, it's Queen to you. Peasant. And she's beloved wife, Zyma, worked with the militia for a time after we avoided Uraxia's purge of the palace. Passed along information until the Uraxians caught her. They killed her in the palace courtyard. Rip. If Ineshi can help, 
he will do so. We're going to assault Rim of Palace, but we need a way to slip inside without being spotted. Do you perhaps have a, a hilarious disguise? Then you need to enter the palace crypts. Oh. A forgotten passage in the crypts leads to the royal kitchens. I like food. And then she out. will write down directions to where he hid his master key. Ooh. The key opens a door in the sewer under the palace that leads to the crypts. I'm really bad with directions, but I'll try. If by directions you Jeweled mean, above, you know, Nishi a marker. can marka. hardly believe his eyes. Princess Camira. It Yoink. is truly me, Castellan. But I am Queen Camira now. Now we don't need to buy we that bitch's water. the usurper from right, my yes, father's we throne. We stayed close to the castle. Zaima, my brave and beloved wife, she passed information to the militia until the vile Euraxians got her. After that, Aneshi came here to restore this ancient shrine. This one will help you as best he can, my queen. I will visit with Aneshi, Five Claw. Recover the master key and meet me in Raymond. Man, we have got to find a shop. This is a little ridiculous. All right, let's look at these notes. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. Follow the road to the west for a short time, then turn left where the road forks. Okay. They're sliding north off the road at the Tilted Pillar. Among the scattered ruins, look for an ancient stairs. Then a fallen spire points to the way. Twin spiny pinks. Does that, does that say pinks? I think it says pinks. Uh, Zyma's favorite flower grow near a wall. Dig beneath a second window on the far side where the dirt is piled in a mound. The monster key should be there. All right, so let's break this down. Let's try and break this down to way less words in my brain. Go west. And then left. Look for a pillar. West left pillar stairs. All right, we'll try doing that, shall we? Wait, west is, west is, wait, we have a map marker. Look everyone, it's one of those giant adamantois bastards that take forever to kill. Alright, so here should be the fork in the road, so we go left, we knew that anyway. I mean, again, we have a map marker, but let's just pretend that I'm doing this myself without the map marker, because it makes me feel a lot better about myself. Uh, we also have a place called Scar's Edge, which sounds edgy as hell, no pun intended. There's gonna be a boss up there. Alright, so this is the Tilted Pillar. Now, what do they say? This is something about some stairs. I see the stairs over here. I'm following the directions. I'm trying not to look at the compass. I'm trying to do this legit. But they really have just blatantly given us a map marker, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the man's directions. But, let's be honest, it's probably for the best. Right now, we're looking for a, a house, a window or something. I'm actually gonna read the, the instructions again. Where are they? Uh, it would be quest, right? Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so, uh... Fall Inspire points the way. Fall Inspire points the way. So these are the stairs. Fall Inspire. I see no bloody Fall Inspire. Now, we're looking for some flowers that grow near a wall as well. Maybe we can just ignore the, the Fallen Spire part, I don't know. Who the hell is that? It's a Minotaur! Let's go murder the Minotaur. I don't think we've seen one Elder Scrolls Online so far. Hello, Mr. Minotaur. You look funny. Guess what? Mouse button 5 of Jethis. Ow. I was transforming your dick. The club it, son. I'm bigger than you are now. Why don't you pick on some of your own sides and so forth? Other cliches that people see in movies and TV shows and shit. Yeah! Parry of justice. Not really a parry, but we gotta say it's a parry. It's more like a block, but parrying sounds cooler. It sounds like I have some, some level of skill, you know? Let a man dream, alright? Let a man dream. Oh, we're small again. I didn't realize that. I got so carried away. Love it. Oh, I tried to do a tactical roll. See that a little bit late. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, my toys ain't nothing to fuck with. I mean, they're not hollowed exactly, but. They're a little, you know, they put up a fight. I'll give, I'll give it to him, he's putting up a fight. He's dead as hell, but he put up a fight. Uh, I will take your maple bow, and then I will teabag you. You might have to a bastard. We are very, very close to this uh, boss area. And I am betting, well, I am recording a reasonable length, a uh, reasonable length, a reasonable time of day for once. So there actually could be some people on aid there, actually. Yes, my god. And they've just killed it, haven't they? My god. No, they haven't. Oh, my god. Get up in that ass. My genius overwhelms you. Excuse me. Are you sure about that? Oh dear. Not found. Yeah, I probably should bind that key, shouldn't I? 
that might be helpful. Possibly even crucial at some point. I blocked it, I think. Did I block it? I don't know. Maybe I didn't block it. He kicked my ass. So, oh shit! Not anymore. Alright, let's heal. Uh, yeah. He's fortunately nearly dead. Considering he's beating the snot out of me. And yeah, we're definitely all dead. Now! Alright, we've got a soul gem. Quickly. Get down! Okay, we did get our XP. Man, I'm just dying like a bitch today, aren't I? Alright, 500 gold and a bank space upgrade. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hit me with that shit. Alright, hang on. I would like your stuff, sir. You ain't got nothing good. Well, I guess the shield's okay. That's a good point. No, this is too handy, isn't it? So I don't think we can even use that. But let's have a look anyway. That's what it looks like. Can we use it with it? No, 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 we can't. But that's what it looks like. It's kind of cool. Where is my axe? There we go, the river who dragon fella. All right, well, we've done that with the greatest swordsman that ever lived with an axe. And now I still need to go down here, find this fallen pillar and these flowers. Sorry, fallen spire. And hey, look, a fallen spire. How convenient. For another Minotaur. And I don't really want to fight another Minotaur again because the last one to go. Oh, there's a bunch of Minotaurs. All right, so we're looking for flowers near a wall. And then I can't remember what the crap we're looking for. But apparently it's right down there, so ain't that convenient. Hello to you. Badger, 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 badger. <laughs> There's a dated reference, like everything I say. Rimmon must key. I think she's must key to Rimma Palace. It should open the door to the crypts under the palace. Cool, we gotta go a real long way, don't we? Oh, hell yeah, we do. Oh, hell yeah, we do. Right, well, I guess actually, actually, how much does it cost me to just... Yeah, you know... <laughs> We've got enough cash. Screw that crap. Also, when we get there, we need to use our skill points. Look, it's that guy from the new Star Wars movies. You know. That guy. I forgot his name. Alright, so. Uh, is K for skills? Yes. How many skill points do we have? We have two. We still haven't joined the fucking Mages Guild, have we? Is there a Mages Guild around here? <laughs> See, that's the... Oh, there is one. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Alright, let's go do that right now. Alrighty, we have arrived at the Mage's Guild. It only took about 10 episodes, even though this is episode 9, I want to say. Actually, this might be episode 10. Yeah, it could be, it could be close to that many. All if right, you so... came for crafting certification, I can assist you. No, I came to join the Mage's Guild, and therefore learn how to persuade people in conversations. There is a pile of gems there that we cannot steal for some reason. Hmm. Convenient. Yeah, you're definitely not an NPC with the way Next you're moving time, around. I'm in the field. I think I'll bring a great war hammer. Or two. Hmm. But you're a mage. That's ridiculous. Am I in the wrong guild? Where the hell? What, what a guild is this? I think we might be in the... We're in the fighters guild. We're in the fighters guild. Wait a minute. No, we're not. Yeah, no, it's the mage's... I'm so confused. Why is he using swords and shit? Okay, whatever. He's apparently the steward, so maybe this guy can join. Whatever. Whatever. Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? Apparently not. The Fighters Guild. What? You should consider what? joining up. We have a new guild master and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Maybe it's all the pain and discomfort and the fact that I haven't been awake for very long, but I am massively confused right now. Are the guilds just conjoined at the hip? Maybe that's what's going on. Because this looks all magey, right? And then this looks all fightery. So I think the guilds are just like, this is like a line between the I think this is the Mages Guild. Because, I mean, it definitely is. We entered here and it said Mages Guild. Maybe there's someone upstairs we can do. I mean, we can probably join up with him as well, but well, here we go. We found the Magister. All right, so this is the guy. Wow, that's confusing. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. I don't know about the nose ring, pal. What can you tell me about the Major's Guild? Why are you literally connected at the hip with the Fighters Guild? What's up with that? We're book hunters of a sort. We no, seek out new information, mages. capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. Sounds real the boring. The Guild doesn't care like about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. What do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. 
and from time to time projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Now, is it just me? Or did his voice change quite a bit there? And I don't even think it's a different voice actor, but it sounded like he suddenly just used a different microphone to record the rest of his lines. What was up with that? Uh, I'm ready to join, I guess. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mage's Sweet. Guild. Every book you find Sweet. will now earn you reputation in the Guild. Oh. Wish I'd known that before. I've been finding books all over the place. When you say book, do you mean just like any book? Do I get reputation for that? Do I get reputation for this? Does this all give me reputation? Probably not, right? Probably talking about like the glowing blue books that you find. I got an achievement. All right, so let's have a look now at campaigns in the campaign. Uh, no. All right, so guild majors guild. We may as well join. Join. Wow. Join the fighters guild whilst we're at this. Anyway, so there is. Oh, here we go. Persuasive allows you to persuade NPCs in conversation. So let's do that. That's all we really wanted to join the guild for. At some point, we will do the the storyline, I'm sure. But right now, the priority is doing the new DLC stuff. You know, that's that's why most of you are here. And also, let's see if we can join up with this guy or join up with the guild at this guy, because we should be. Uh, I'm assuming if you get persuade for joining the Mages Guild, you probably get intimidate for joining the Fires Guild. You know, Fires Swords intimidation. Maybe it makes sense to me. So we'll try. Welcome to our hall, the Fighters Guild. That's good. You're excellent. I know we'll all Think be drawing purpose? blades. Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian who oh. sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. What do I get in return? Ha! There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher ups are always like intimidation. For motivated members to help with special projects. You never know; you might be the next Yofnir. Oh, that is, but cool. I'm ready to join. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. You have money for that? Get out there Sweet. and take the fight to the Daedra. Thank you. All right. So now, with our other skill point, let's see if. Uh... Uh, intimidate, what do you know? Beautiful. All right, so also we have some stat points to use, do we not? Oh, it's control, I can never remember that. We have one. I think we were apparently starting to work on health, so there you go. All right, cool. Now let's go talk to the bastard we came here to talk to. Hello, I'm here to rendezvous, which is a French word. Five Claw, over here. Tarn wants to speak to you. That regal wave, I mean, she's a queen. This city, Bimmon. I Excuse believe me? I visited this place long ago. It was newer then, not quite as large. And there were definitely fewer Euraxians. I am almost certain about that. Hold on a minute. This city, Bimmon... He definitely says shitty. You're remembering I more about the time you became a soul shriven? It seems that before I became the emaciated epitome of perfection standing before you, I was the miscreant the world knew as Cadwell the Betrayer. My recollections of that time are all jumbled up like pieces of broken pottery in a burlap sack. I don't know why it's only just occurred to me, but that thing on his chest, like his chest plate thing there, oh, there goes my Nintendo Switch controller. Where the hell did it land? Hello? There you are. Put that on the bed so I don't keep knocking it off. Yeah, the thing on his chest is, uh, it's like a, a tray, you know, for tea or crumpets or whatever. Look, he's British, okay? So am I. I can say these things. What do you think changed you? I've been wondering about that myself. Was it the transition from life to death? When I turned into a soul shriven, uh, perhaps the centuries I spent wandering around, scenic cold harbor. Who can tell? I'm just glad that I'm no longer a monumental ass. Have you had any more visions through the eyes of your severed head? I've seen things that would curdle the cream in your cabbage pie. My original head is a menace, and that necromancer, Zumar Foom, he's even worse. They collected a pile of body parts. I think they're me, or the old me. It's all quite confusing. For fuck's sake, I gotta re-record this now. This city, Bimmon, I believe it seems that I've been wondering about it.
It seems that before I became the... I've been wondering about that myself. Was it the transition from life to death? When I turned into a soul shriven, perhaps the centuries I spent wandering around, scenic cold harbor. Who can tell? Okay. <clears throat> I have to re-record this part from him saying, I've been wondering. This city, Bimmon, it seems that before now, I became the emaciated... I've been wondering about that myself. Was it the transition from life to death? When I turned into a soul shriven, perhaps the centuries I spent wandering around, scenic cold armor who can tell i'm just glad that i'm no longer a monumental ass have you had any more visions through the eyes of your severed head i've seen things that would curdle the cream in your cabbage pie my I... original head is a Brody. menace and that necromancer zoom on foom he's even worse they collected a pile of body parts i think they're me or the old me it's all quite confusing Oh, that reminds me. There's like a new Pokemon that got shown that's called, like, All Creamy or something like that. Oh my god, the amount of fucking porn people are going to make of that. People make porn of everything. There is Hollow Knight porn. And Hollow Knight, for those that don't know, is a 2D Metrovania where you play as bug people. So, think how disgusting some bugs are, and then imagine the porn that people have drawn for that. Yeah. It, mm, mm, ugh. Oh, it's, it, like, it takes a lot to actually make me get grossed out, but... That did it. Are you sure you're up to helping out us assault the palace? Wouldn't miss it for all the shackles in Cold Harbor. I live for this kind of adventure. Besides, I want to make sure they don't get around to reassembling my old body. One of me is quite enough. Two is definitely out of the question. You know, I agree with that. Hey, I just saw Zamorak. Yeah, that's who we got to talk to. All right, really quickly, I need to rebind one of the keys. Give me a sec. <clears throat> Okay, I fixed it. All right, let's go. Yeah, my mute button was on uh, was on plus. If I yeah, I probably shouldn't do that whilst explaining it. But if I, I can match the key now, because otherwise, when I'm in a dialogue and I'm pressing the mute button, I have to mute for what the hell? I have to mute for whatever reason. Oh, it's a monitor going fucking ham. Well, thank you for baiting those dudes over here. I hope they don't attack me. Uh, yeah. So basically, you now I can mute without interrupting the dialogue. That's all. Hello, Abner. I may not. Wait, 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 wait. Where the hell is Zamorak? I saw Zamorak here a second ago. I'm sorry, Abner. That's very rude of me, I know. Oh, there he is. Right, let's see if we can talk to him. Hey, Zamorak, buddy. This one feels the weight of Hang on, book. <laughs> I need those major skill points, Matt. All right, well, anyway. This one feels the weight of responsibility. It bears down like a boot upon my tail. You mentioned something about Riverhold after I killed the dragon. Something about you and Chimera. Zamorak says many things. I'm aware. This one's words jump out of their own accord like fish leaping from a stream. Pay them no mind. We have much to uh. do, Walker. Now is not the time to dredge up events that happened long ago. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Zamorak, if you have some of that, tell me I want to hear it. You asked Zamorak about his exile and why he returned. Oh yeah, that was it, yeah. This one supposes he needs to tell someone. So it might as well be you, Walker. Oh, <laughs> flattered. Zamarak was once more than just a humble adept. Just punch my mind. He was plucked from his studies and forged into a king's claw. You serve Kamira's father? Wait a minute. Is this going to be one of those, like, he's Jamie Lannister, he's the Kingslayer kind of things? Zamarak set aside his studies to protect the king and the royal family. But Zamarak failed. In the end, this one could save only Kamira. Yeah, maybe not. After that, I exiled myself and dedicated my life to peaceful contemplation. You blame yourself for what happened to the royal family, so why did you decide to return? <laughs> Damn. Hey, failure. Why you come back to fail again, hmm? Zamarak dreamed that elsewhere was in danger. That oh, John likely and story. Jod wanted me to return. To face my failure and help Kamira take back her throne. That is what Zamarak thinks. That is what Zamarak will do. But do not tell Kamira. Not yet. Oh, uh, but I want to go tattletale. All right, well, anyway, hello, Abner. Sorry about, you know, ignoring you last time and running off to find Zamarak, who was there the whole time, and then ignoring him to read a book. Look, education is important, Abner. 
I may not have figured out Chimera's true identity, but things have been hectic since I met her. Zamorak, though, he was easier to surmise. I recognized the bearing of the king's claw the moment I saw him. Did you find us a way into the palace? The old Castilian... Castilian? I, f I was saying Castilian, wasn't I? The old Castilian suggests we enter through the crypts he gave me the master key. The crypts? So that means another delightful trek through the sewers. Mm. The overwhelming stench of excrement still lingers from our last visit. Ah, well. I have another task for you to deal with first, however. Which is? The siege weapons aim down into the city. We need to disable them before Euraxia realizes she's under attack or she'll destroy Rimen just to spite us. Meet Nalado and destroy two of the installations. Chimera will take care of the third. You think Zamorak was the King's Claw? Pff, preposterous. He totally didn't just tell me that. Just thinking out loud. A habit I acquired during my time in the archives at White Gold Tower. That's sincerity, Zamorak which is once oblivion. served as a royal protector. From his bearing and the way he hovers near Chimera, he had to be one of the King's Claws. It's quite obvious. If you say so, I'll go help Captain Nala do... Do, Nalado, destroy the siege weapons now. Captain Nalado's waiting for you near the siege weapons. Work with her to put them out of commission. Once we see the weapons go up in flames, we'll head out and rendezvous with you at the sewer entrance. Won't that also uh, alert Euraxia to our presence? I'm counting on it. No. After you and Nalado destroy the first two platforms and Chimera deals with the third... Euraxia will order her troops into the streets to defend the city. That will mean fewer soldiers inside the palace to hamper our assault. You're a fucking genius, mate. What are you gonna do... <laughs> Words. What are you going to be doing while Nalado, Kamira, and I deal with the siege weapons? Zamorak, Cadwell, and I will make our way to the sewers and deal with any Euraxians stationed there. Can't have them raise an alarm and alert my half-sister to our true intentions. Are you insinuating that my contributions are lacking? Ooh, we can intimidate him now. Not at all, you did plenty when you said the dragon's free. Very clever. I thought so. At least you waited to throw that in my face. Someone As you had well to. know, it was never my intention to loose the dragons on elsewhere. I wasn't even aware of their presence in the halls of Colossus. Despite your jibe, I will fix this count on it. Where should I meet Nalado? The good captain waits near the palace. She went on ahead to scout the area and determine what opposition you might encounter at the siege weapon platforms. I appreciate that level of planning, especially since it's rare to see among the Khajiit. So we're the strike force. What about Goreshri and the rest of the militia? The militia are everywhere. Someone needs to remain behind and organize what remains of the militia. The Speaker of the Main is best suited to the task. Besides, if we fail, though we won't, oh, someone yeah. needs to respond when Euraxia unleashes death and destruction upon the city. Not a chance of failure, sir. What are you going to be doing? Well, now that Kamira and I do what I already asked that. You said Zamorak might be have been one of the King's Claws. What does that mean? I already know. <gasps> but humor me. The King's Claws were an elite squad of agents loyal to King Hamakar of Rimen. Hemagar. They protected the king and the royal family, undertook special missions, all very hush-hush. Mum's the guess, word. But if I'm right, it explains much about Zamorak. What are you going to be doing while well, Nalado, Kamira, and I deal with the siege weapons? Why are we asking this again, but just in case? Zamorak, yeah, okay, same thing. and I will make uh, our way to the I will continue to intimidate you. All right, I think we're done At here. I think we're done here, Abner. I think we're done here. We're just going around in circles, sir. All right, so we're going to go over there. All right, I'll see you there. Let's go. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't this place look cool as hell? Alright, I do believe, yes, we have arrived. What up, Nella Doe? Five claw. Good, good. We have work to do. Are you ready to disable the siege weapons and wreak some more havoc? No. The soldier guarding the gate to the south weapons platform appears bored. This one plans to give her something to get excited about. When she leaves her post, slip through the gate and set fire to the siege weapons. Be quick, Five Claw. What do you, what do you gotta do to excite this person? There's only a single soldier guarding the south weapons platform. Alliteration. 
At the gate, yes. This one observed a few more soldiers on the platform, but not many. The usurper queen feels secure in Rimin. We're about to change that. After this one deals with the soldier, I will move on to the north platform. Meet me there. Maybe the rock is a cat person. Maybe that's why he always speaks in the third person. Right, I'll go set fire to the siege weapons of the south platform. I will do exactly Watch what you just said. As Nalado becomes a sleek Eurexian soldier. Oh, how do they see with this thing on? I like the echo of her sounding like she's wearing a tin can on her head. Garashi has been spotted in the market. Hurry! Finally, some action! Alright, let me in. Let me in before she comes back. Oh my god, there's so many things. Oh my god, there's guards everywhere. Uh, bollocks. Let's see if we can actually sneak past these people, but it's never gonna work. Yeah, we're gonna... Destroy the South Sea Trip. Ah, bollocks! Well, like I said, it wasn't gonna happen. Alright, they don't seem terribly tough, which is, uh, fortunate considering there's about a thousand of the bastards. Excuse me, sir, I've got to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt. Get ducked! Fool! Yeah, give me the HP back, ya yeah, bastard. Three them fire on nothing, like a scrub. Two hand increase, nice. <laughs> Alright, none of you saw that. No, get out of here. Okay, actually you didn't see that. Looks for me. Now how do I destroy this? Do I just give it a go smacking? Probably not. It's not really how this game tends to work. What are you doing, love? Piss off. Good god. The man's just trying to destroy some siege weapons. Why are you gonna be that person, hmm? Well so I didn't move at all and you still missed me with that fire breath. Aligned. Blind, I tell you. Here we go. Burn! Yeah, so I'll wave it around like it's some kind of weird ritual. I don't know, I'm only supposed to destroy two of them. Hang on, I can do this. Before he interrupts me. Oh, fuck. fuck yeah. Maybe we're not supposed to destroy two. I swear they said two. I've been lied to once again. Well, there's only three of them, so I guess it's not that much of a difference. But still, I do feel terribly lied to right now. Or I misheard the instructions. That's also entirely possible. Why are you throwing firebombs at me? Also, wouldn't it be great? Like, if this were, like, Zelda or something, you know, like Breath of the Wild, probably you could just stand here and have him set fire to his own bloody siege weapon. That would be pretty awesome. You know what? Screw this nonsense. Screw these goddamn people. Hey, Thank you for the HPs. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's on my watch, son. Not on my watch. Oh, my God. It's a big AoE. That's a big AoE. What the hell even is that? I think it just slows me down one minute. Oh, look at this guy using me as a distraction to go burn some siege weapons. You bastard. I'm trapped. You bastard. Oh, thank you for the help. I appreciate it. Thank you. We're gonna maple star for something something. There we go. Alright. We're friends now. We're friends now. You and me against the world, well, pal. See if he says anything. He probably he probably is going to assume that I'm mentally challenged. Maybe rightly so. Wait, destroy the North Siege weapon. What North Siege weapon? Oh, that's it's a long way away. Not talking to me. Or she? I think it's a he. I'm going to see if I can. Oh no, never mind. Well, all right, they're gone. They're gone. Never wanted you anyway. All right, let's move this crap off the screen. They did not talk. They ignored me. They're like, oh, this person's simple. Oh, they they probably assume I'm simple or a child. Again. Not necessarily. Wait to get out of this dungy armor. Dungy armor. Not necessarily that wrong. The south platform is under attack. Stupid cats. Why shouldn't fire wasn't me, man? Wait, what did I just say? I better warn my. You and me against first. the wall, pal. Oh damn. Oh damn. Go shanky danked. I'm gonna let go. him be the distraction. Now once I go burn everything. Not Except apparently he's destroying everything at the speed of light. Why is this guy so much stronger than me? Like, what's up with that? Did you just see him fucking... Like, why is my character so weak compared to that? What the hell? He must just have, like, really good gear, right? Because I don't think I've done anything wrong with, you know, like, my stats and things. My stat distribution. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, that was very easy because he just murdered everyone. Watch for Kamira's handiwork. Hints. Um. 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 
I, I guess I missed the anyone. Did it. Now let's meet the others at the sewer entrance. <laughs> you trying to jump over the wall. What a goober. Can I jump over the wall? No. Oh. Damn it. All right, so we got to go to the sewer entrance. How do we get there? I should have followed this guy, but he's already long gone. Actually, we could probably just go down here. Ooh. Let's go around a little bit. We've had bad experiences with falling in the past. Past the past. Oh my god, it's here the come past. the others now. Yeah, he looks strong. You know, he's all glowing and shit. There are too many of A queen should not rush into danger. I will go with Tarn. Captain Nalado can lead the others. Barely queen for a love. day, and already she's giving orders. All right, can I talk to you now? Okay, thank you. A queen should not rush into danger. It is unseemly. This one should be at her side to keep her safe. Nalado will follow orders, though. We must make our way through the crypts and into the palace before Kamira gets into too much trouble, yes? Is it really a good idea to split up our party? Jason Voorhees might come out of nowhere and start murdering us all. Kamira is queen now, so this one must do as she says. There are dangers ahead, regardless of whether we stick together or not. But we have a better chance of reaching the Usurper Queen if we approach from multiple directions. Kamira can handle herself, and she will be with Abnathon. I think she'll probably be fine. Yes, and if anything you, happens on the other to hand. our new queen, this one will have Thon's head on a platter. We waste too much time, Five Claw. Are you ready to enter the sewers and find the door to the crypts? Oh, hell yes. Let's oh, go. Tally ho! Tally ho! Now, where's the, where's the thing? Okay, it's over here. Look at him run. What a goober. Guess we've got to ditch our horse. That makes me sad. All right, so I'm guessing this is probably not going to be a very big area at all. Roman Palace Recess. The recesses uh, beneath Roman Palace were originally built to provide maintenance access to its freshwater sanitation system and then expanded into storage, wine cellars, and even connections to the crypt. Look at that timing. Everyone, and, uh, a bunch of people down your claws. Meh. There is the door to Quite the large. Crypts. That's right. We, was this the same door we were in works. before? I think it was. Guard the rear. I think it was, you know. But I think this we just couldn't access this part. Scripts in a long, long time. We come a long, long way together. To the heart and I'm from the good. I need to celebrate you, baby. I need to praise you like a shoot. Sorry, I just wanted to see what was going on with this giant zombie. It's exactly what it is. It is a giant zombie. That's what I thought we were dealing with here. I've got to now kill the giant zombie, and now I regret it immediately, but that's pretty cool nonetheless, right? We're probably just mostly going to run through this area, because I doubt there's going to be too much to find. It's just going to be you know, a whole bunch of fighting, which we've done quite a bit of this episode anyway. I, thought, I think this episode's been fairly balanced. We've done like a lot of dialogue, a lot of fighting, you know? It's, it's basically what you do in Elder Scrolls Online. You run through areas killing shit, and you talk to people. Let's, let's boil it down. That's basically what mo most games, uh, most games, well, boil down to, if you think about it. Yes, we're going to run like hell. And then when we have to turn and fight, we will. And we're just going to leave Zamorak to his own devices. He's the big strong boy. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be absolutely fine. I am out of stamina. Find a way into the palace. I guess it's got something to do with this giant bloody statue. Or not. Or not. This. Oh, it's the king's grave. Zombie! Zamorak! Ah! Zamorak, can you help me? This is Zombie on me. Where do you can get- oh, actually, can you get health back from the zombie? Well, I, now we're- okay, whatever. Whatever! Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what it said. That's annoying. They took his body. They desecrated the king's grave. And from the looks of it, the queen's and Kamira's siblings as well. You know, until he said that, it didn't even occur to me there wasn't a dude in the grave. But you're right, there was no dude there. Why would you actually dig up the royal family? Zamarak has no clue. This royal crypt was prepared reported. when King Hemakar ascended to the throne and married Queen Numara. Why inter the bodies and then dig them up six years later? Gee, maybe it's got something to do with necromancy. Could it have been Zumok Fum or one of his necromancers? Dark moons. My God. This one hopes that is not the case. To even think such a thing makes Zamarak's fur stand on end. We have to kill a zombie we king, aren't we? Find Kamira. That's pretty cool. Find the queen. We need to cool. find a way into the palace, I and quickly. 
Eurexia not only murdered our king and queen, she desecrated their graves! She's a monster! Alright, calm down, love Jesus! Bloody hell, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, probably it's a big deal. Alright. I'm reading books. I See, again, I assume it's just the glowing books that give you education in the, the Mage's Guild. Look at all this stuff on the wall. I don't think we can take that, but we cannot. But yeah, I assume it's only those books that give you education in the Mage's Guild. But just in case. Didn't we get more ba uh, more backpack space? Yeah, it was 10 slots. It's not a lot, but it's something. Rimmon Palace. Given its strategic location, Rimmon was always one of the most prosperous of the old 16 kingdoms. The... Electric splendor of Rimmon Palace reflects the city's state's city state's history of grandeur. Words are hard. Oh. Apparently Zamrak's talking to me. I don't see him. I don't hear him, but I see the dialogue on the screen. Hello, you are not Zamrak. Where's Zamrak? Map. All right. That's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it. I apologize if it was not quite up to the, the normal standard, but again, I am in quite a lot of discomfort just sitting here, so hopefully you understand. Thank you so much for watching. As always, would appreciate a like and a comment, and thank you so much to this month's patrons who are Pedro Marquez, Hitbox, Black Wolf 8994, Miss Justice 83, Bloodpire, Billing 9, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Awena 1997, I need to clean my glasses. No, that's not a name. I actually just do. There's dust on them and I can't see properly. Martin Sizanuski, Jeremy Burris, Flip Rep, Rex Burham, Luna Parker, Vincent Clark, Lude Smoke Soldier, George Blackwell, and Arcaris. Thanks so much, everyone. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time for more Elder Scrolls Online elsewhere. Wait a minute. Is that Zamorak up there? My God, what are you doing, sir?